Hey guys, this is W Rockrams K here back with another video and today is a review of Monday Night Raw. This is the second to last Raw and two money in the bank. Uh, that's gonna be happening June nineteenth. We also uh they did promote a lot of NXT uh, TakeOver The End, which is tomorrow night. They just kind of talked about it a little bit. Um, they also had a lot about Muhammad Ali because of his passing. They pretty much did a little tribute to him. Almost every single commercial break, pretty much every 30 minutes, there's something about him on the show. But, get back to the wrestling part of it. Um, to what I remember, there was not a Divas match. There was a Divas promo. But I don't ever remember a Divas match happening. There was a promo with uh, Charlotte and uh, Dana Brooke and Natalia and uh, Becky Lynch. They came out and pretty much told Dana she's going to turn her back on her, just like she did to her father, just like she did to uh, the PCB. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, Paige, Charlotte, and Becky. She can turn her back on that and just not the team with her. And then at the end, you think uh, Dana's listening and ended up attacking uh, Natalia and Becky Lynch. Pretty much that was all for the Divas uh, last night. But we're all started out with a really cool promo. All six guys that are competing were on top of a ladder. Um, I don't know why they didn't make a seven every single year we've had a Money in the Bank. It's been seven, except for for some reason this year they're just doing six. I don't know if they just ran out of people or we couldn't really figure out how to do uh, seven people this year. So all of them were pretty much cutting their promos, and Kevin Owens was going off, and then he plugged the network twice and even mentioned it. Chris Jericho was had the, yeah, he was just, if you find a picture of how he was sitting on the ladder, it's, I don't know how he didn't fall off, and the whole time watching the promo, I'm thinking in my head, please don't fall off the ladder, Jericho, because that's just going to be hilarious, and probably not end well for you. But all of them ended up having a promo on top of the ladder, then they all jumped down and attacked the person they were in a rivalry with. Then Teddy Long made his return, well, not really his return, he just kind of showed up, and was going to put them all in tag team matches, and then Stephanie said no, brought him to the back, and then we saw him again two more times throughout the show. Uh, we saw him when Tyler Breeze was going up against Goldust uh, after, Gold, no, yeah, Goldust got the DQ because Fandango attacked him. Teddy Long came out and said, let's make it a tag team match, and then that didn't happen. Uh, he also was shown backstage where he then made the match for the tag team titles at Money in the Bank, which is the club versus the New Day versus the Von Villains versus Enzo and Big Cass. That's actually a really good tag team match. You're giving all three competitors that deserve a shot, a shot all at once. Hopefully the title will change hands. I love the New Day, don't get me wrong, but they need to drop the title already. Other than that, everybody in the Money in the Bank kind of just had their own match. Uh, you had Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose, which was pretty good. Cesaro versus Jericho, which was pretty good. And uh, that was pretty much it for Monday Night Raw. Shane was not there. Stephanie pretty much took over the show and then said that she believes that she's going to be taking control of SmackDown because they're trying to aiming up SmackDown as the better brand than Raw at the moment, which hopefully they do because I've always been a more SmackDown person than Raw. So yeah, that's everything that happened on Monday Night Raw. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because there's always more to come.